Hey guys, Anthony, 4B4 Diesel. Just a bit of timing belt assistance for the DIYs. Always get the odd message or call about the timing belt. It's something people are a bit nervous about, fair enough, because if you get it wrong, it's gonna cost you your engine, you're gonna bend a valve. They are a pretty simple um, timing belt to do. So we'll just quickly run through that and um, hopefully there's a couple of tips there to help prevent worst case scenario. So when you're doing the timing belt, it's advisable to check or replace the idler and the tensioner. This one's got a new tensioner and idler bearing on it. Now the drive belt, obviously new, all genuine parts or OEM. So you've got your mark at the top. I'll just put a blue mark on it. Also on the genuine drive belt, they've got a line so you can see you can't go wrong. And if you've got your top mark lined up and the belt's taut down the right side to your mark down the bottom here. And it's even got a line on the belt. Happy days. So once you've got that lined up, you can pull the pin, which you've already done. It's always advisable to gently turn the engine over. Put the 22 mil on the crankshaft in the bottom there and just make sure to be 101%, I guess, because it's already 100%. Just turn it over, make sure it's all happy, and then you can put your cover back on. Have a nice day. See ya.